So I'm just starting out on hike this morning, climbing up over 10,000 feet. It's a tough hike. And I don't know if you've ever been on a, a hike climbing a mountain thinking, man, you see people way up ahead, you're like, man, I wish I was there. Or I wish I was at the top of the, the mountain. But the person who gets to the top of the mountain has to climb. Just like in business, we have obstacles, we have challenges, we have mountains in front of us. And, you know, we can say to the person who's way ahead of us that, gosh, I wish I was there. I don't know if I'll make it, but I'm going to give everything I have. And so you're going to see me climb. Talk to you soon. <sighs> Got to stop and see the sights. Like that forked tree just kind of stuck on the other tree. That's crazy. So, made it to the top of Deseret Peak and it took a lot of energy and we made it. So that's the, that's the important thing and it was really just one step after the other. You know, just like life, when you have a choice, you can sit down and say, you know what, I've got this mountain in front of me, it's too formidable, I can't make it or I'm not going to do it and just sit down and, and give up. Right now, people are hurting. You just feel like, you know, is, is it worth it? Am I, gonna, am I gonna be able to continue on? When that happens, the best thing that I can do, the best thing you can do, is take action. Just take one step. Don't worry about all the problems. Don't worry about all the challenges. What can you do right now? And for me, coming up this mountain, it was, one step and then another step and pretty soon you conquer the mountain and i love that saying it's in my office the man on the top of the mountain did not fall there i think that was vince lombardi that said that you can make it you can see the great salt lake and the uh wendover desert nevada over there Rush Valley over there, Tooele, Great Salt Lake. It's just so amazing, such a great view. So many people I know are stressed, anxious, frustrated with politics, with culture, with prices, with the economy and uncertainty. You know, I believe when life gives you a mountain, 
climb. You got to climb. And we just got back from climbing over 10,000 feet. It was about a almost 4,000 foot elevation gain, nine miles. I'm sitting down because it's really hard for me to stand up right now. I'm pretty exhausted. Maybe the way you feel at the end of the day, working hard and dealing with all the fighting all the battles that you have to fight and climbing all the mountains that that you have to climb. Well, here are a few things that I have found that really help when you climb those mountains, when you climb your mountains. The first thing that helped me is visualizing myself at the top of the mountain. You know, I'm not in great shape, but I love to be outside. I love to climb. And I wasn't sure that I was going to be able to do it but I visualized being up on the top of the mountain and seeing the 360 view. And I was just, I was so excited to get there. But as I look up the mountain and as you look up the trail, it seems like, man, I will never get there. So that's a challenge that we have to get over. Sometimes we, we look at the, the challenges and we become overwhelmed. And so some people just give up and sit down at the base of the mountain and never never take action. When you feel overwhelmed, when I feel overwhelmed, the best thing for me to do is to do something, to do whatever you can. In this case, it was just taking the next step. So first of all, you visualize, you do what you can. And then what I noticed is we would stop, my son and I, Sam came with me, we would stop every once in a while and take a rest like I am right now. We would have some snacks and take a drink and we would celebrate. And how would we do that? We'd actually look back down on the trail that we had just climbed. And it was awesome because we would just realize how far we have come. Instead of focusing on how far we have to go, celebrate the successes that you have, even little ones. We would stop and look at the flowers. We would stop and take pictures of flowers. We would look at insects and birds and, and bugs, just listening to the, the forest and feeling the breeze. That was a way for us to, to celebrate. Then we met people on the trail. And you're going to be meeting people on their trail up the mountain. Encourage them. Let them know that they can make it. Let them know how far it is. Some people are not familiar with the trail. They've never been here before. They've never dealt with the challenges that they're facing or the business issues that are happening with them right now. And so they need help. If you can help, do it. Make somebody else's burden a little bit lighter. And speaking of making someone else's burden lighter, make the trail better. My son, he's so great. He picks up the trash that he sees. Why? Because we want other people to experience the beauty of, of nature. And if you see something that you can do to make things better for someone else, do that. It's also important to have some tools to help you succeed. Listen, I'm way more than I should, let me put it that way. And so one of the things that I do is to help my knees. I wear, I, I wear knee braces. I've got stuff to wipe my, my face and my nose. <laughs> I've got gloves and those are important because I use hiking poles and that takes a tremendous amount of pressure off my back, off my knees and coming down it just helps my, my quads. So I have lots of different tools and equipment and electrolytes. You know, we need tools in our business to help us to be productive and effective. I use all kinds of software to help me when I'm overwhelmed to remember the things that I need to do to stay on track. One of the most important things that you can do is keep moving and do something, whatever it is, however little it is, and celebrate the successes that you have. And think about how far that you've come because pretty soon you'll be a lot further along and you will be through the challenges and on top of the mountain and looking around and, and just enjoying the scenery, then you gotta get back down. So have something to celebrate. And you know what? Since I've burned about 3,000 calories, we're gonna go get a burger and we're gonna celebrate. I hope you do too. Good luck climbing your mountains.